it'll be all worth it. Like them little moments make it all worth it, bro. When you see like the little human be the little, <laughs> like you see their little personalities, you see they look, you feel me? Like when you see that stuff, bro, it's like. You see them develop into yeah. the little people. Like you like, oh, yeah. oh, oh. It even <laughs> give me something to write about. You feel me? Like, cause it's, bro, it's, I don't know. I can't even explain it for real, but it's, it's everything though. Like, um, yeah. I don't know. Family is every day. (laughs) Hey, we live now, really. So, with you being you know, a husband, because I didn't mention it. You a husband out here and you a father, man. And I yeah. want to hear, man, for all my dads out there, man, you a girl dad, you, you, you know, you got your boys too, man. Yeah. What do you get from being a father, man? What is your enjoyment from being a father and being a dad? Like, is your kids, your wife, your family, your wife, is, is that why you, you, you grind so hard and why you work like you do? Yeah, for sure, bro. It's like, I can't even explain it for real how my fa- or what my family mean to me, bro, because it's I've always wanted a family. You feel me? Yeah. So, bro, family is more than everything. You feel me? Family is like it's it's God and his family. Like it's literally, you feel me? That's the only way I can explain it. But my kids, bro, kids is a lot, but then they they are it's it's like It'll be all worth it. Like them little moments make it all worth it, bro. When you see like the little human be the little, <laughs> like you see they look personalities. You see they look. You feel me? Like when you see that stuff, bro, it's like you see them develop into yeah. the little people. Like you, like yeah. oh, oh, oh. it even give me something to write about. You feel me? Like because it's, bro, it's I don't know. I can't even explain it for real. But it's it's everything though. Like, um, yeah. I don't know. Family is every day, man. So, but you, you said all these things and you, you a young man, just like myself, man. So, so for you, has it always been, like you said, you always wanted your own family. You always wanted to settle down. What made you kind of just settle down so young then and, you know, go ahead, get your wife and start having kids and being that family person already. Cause it's like you said, is that just, was that always in you? Was that yeah. something you always wanted to do? So the thing is, bro, that's a great question because, a lot of people or a lot of men, young men, they be confused or they, uh, they, uh, they be. Want, they see 50 different women. They see all these yeah. options. They... <laughs> and then don't they feel like marriage is so far from them. Yeah. Bro, all it took. So I grew up in a two parent household. You know, I had great parents. So that's one thing that like made me always want it. But then, bro, um, around the time I found my wife, it's like. I was praying for a wife, actually. And then um, I got myself together. You feel me? Like I was really, it's it's first getting your relationship with God. God going to help you find yourself and he going to help you find your wife. But the first thing is like really getting a relationship with God. You feel me? And everything else going to play itself out. But I feel like a lot of men be scared of like the commitment. But it's like, bro, a lot of people out here, living with their significant other, bro, and you playing the role of a husband, and you you feel me, but it's like they think the ring and everything going to make it like worse or whatever. Magic make it work. Like, like, yeah. that's, that's, that's the answer to all questions. Just give it a ring. Yeah. Well, work. no, they, I'm actually saying the opposite. Like, they think that the ring going to ruin it, you feel me, because there's oh, so many stereotypes okay. out here and stuff. Ooh, so Okay, talk to So, him. bro, it's like. If you really understand, that's why I say get right with God, read your word, learn what marriage really is, because marriage is a covenant between you and God. People say it's paperwork. It's paperwork as well. But marriage was, bro, marriage was a thing before a pen was even invented. Marriage been since forever. It's a covenant between you and God. So it's it, between y'all two and God. So it's, you know, it's it's way deeper than just paperwork. The world make it all that. But, bro, if you want to be right before God, I advise you to, you know, look at what the Bible said about marriage and stuff like that because, bro, it's it's a beautiful thing, bro. It's like you even get a different, um, you get a different type of, I don't even know how to explain it. You just get a different, a whole different life in marriage, bro. It's like oh, yeah. things, blessings become different. Blessings become, 
You feel me? I ain't even going to say they more or less or whatever, but, bro, they just different. It's like when you doing right by God, bro, it's like you see so many di- so many doors unlocked yeah. and stuff it's like, like that, bro. happening that you didn't see. Yeah. Man. You feel me? Because like you, you, you just – Because, too, it's, it's better to be – in marriage not for everybody, but still it's better when you find that person and y'all both love each other and y'all both pushing each other because, bro, you can't never push you how your wife would. You can push you how you would, but then she's going to bring a whole nother push oh, man, she and a whole nother, you know, uh, everything. She's going to kick the, hey, kick your ass and get to when you need it. For sure, bro. <laughs> like, it's she going to just be you uh, times two, but not really be you because she caught, you know, she a whole different person, but it's like she going to be true. another person who yeah. love you as much as you love you. you right. feel me? And, and that's and that's the thing, bro. And I feel like that's what we all need, bro. At the end of the day, I don't care who you are, man. Whether if you want to get married or you don't, you need that other bond and that other human connection with somebody. I For sure. Because that's what we crave. We crave that love and affection from somebody to not, you feel me, hold our hand. But we sometimes we need that. Like, especially yeah. as a man, at least I feel like when I got a strong woman by my side, when I got a woman who pushes me, who motivates me and makes me want to be better and makes yeah. me want to go after my goals and my dreams and she's alongside of me for that, yeah. man, hey, I can't complain. Hey, I need that. That's what I want. Hey, <laughs> how many rings you want? Right. You feel me? <laughs> You're like, well, how many right. times do you want to get married? Hey, we can renew our vows in 10 years, five years, two years. What yeah. you want to do? <laughs> like, like, for real, she checking all the boxes. Right. Hey, what's right. up? You feel me? At least that's how I feel. But I know for at least me and I know a lot of other men in this generation, man, it's the, the society, man, is, is kind of, you know, is doing something to these women, man. And this is, it's, it's, it's different, man, yeah. than this age in this yeah. new generation. At least I know for me. And I know, you know, from my experience, it's hard to find a good woman out here. Yeah. So you found you a good woman and you said, sure. hey, I ain't letting it go, boy. Right. Hey, hey, you did right. <laughs> you did right. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all better stop playing, man. But that's key, man. Find you a good woman. Find somebody who's for you. And hey, like, it's, the rest going to take care of itself. For sure. Man. Yeah. But let's switch gears and let's move on real quick. I got to, before I get you up out of here. Quick hit gems are coming your way. So we back now. All right. The quick hit gems are on their way. And hey, these questions got to be answered in about 10 to 30 seconds. But you can answer them and take how long you want. It don't make, it make no difference because all my guests, they take about 50 years. But, you know, keep it keep it under. Keep it on about 30, 40 years. You feel me? Right, 20 bro. years. That's cool, too. Yeah. All right. So first question I got for you, man. What is – actually, no. We're going to say that for last. So that's one of the best questions. Hey, that's so to your wife. So, hey, wifey, this one for you. Hey. What are three qualities that are must have that you need in your woman, but must have that your wife possess? Because obviously you married it for a reason. So, yeah. what are your three favorite qualities about your wife? Um, uh, number one, she in Christ. That's the most important. Uh, supportive and smart, very Ooh. smart. Okay, you asked a little quick, boy. He said, "Hey, hey, I know what my baby brings to the yeah, table, boy." For sure, <laughs> most definitely. That's what to you, wifey. Hey, 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 hey. He 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 locked he locked you down for a reason. <laughs> hey, hey, my fellas, y'all better take notes, all right? Hey. So now, next question, man. What do you want to be remembered by? So, if you had one last day on this earth, if you was about to depart from us. What is the one thing that you want to leave behind and the one thing that you want to be remembered by or that you would like to be remembered by? 
I mean, the only thing I really live for or, you know, try to live for daily is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that's that's really it. That's it. OK. OK. Yeah, that ain't here for me. OK. I respect that. Boy, you you, you hit me quick, quick. But hey, yeah. I respect it. Hey, hey, this is how quick hits are supposed to be played. So all my <laughs> guests, y'all better stop playing. You see how it's supposed to be played now. <laughs> all right. All right. So moving on to the next one, man. All right. I need to know. One thing that you think humanity or the world is lacking. So what do you think? One thing, if you can pinpoint one specific, um, whether it's a saying, whether it's a quote, whether it's an objective or what, or something, what do you think the world is like? That's easy do? too, bro. What do you think? And it's, it's going to be so, it might, <laughs> I don't about. know, it's, it's obvious, bro. It's, it's Christ. I really feel like the world is lacking Christ, bro. Cause you think we're getting away from the spirit. Yeah. Far, like far away. And like, you know, and it's, of course, it's people who got Christ, but in general, I, I feel like that's what the world is lacking for sure. Okay. Okay. That's that's a good answer, and I like that. And I feel like, hey, hey, some of y'all definitely need God. Boy, y'all better start playing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey. At the end of the day, <laughs> hey, we, we ain't going to judge you, but you know you know who we talking to. <laughs> all right. But, all right, moving on. Next quick hits, man. I got two more for you. You're killing it right now. So, if you had a dinner and you had to pick five people, dead or alive, who would you pick? I know we played this before with you and your wife, but I need to know <laughs> your specific because I know she might influence you a little bit. I want to know who you sitting at this table with you. All right, who who you going to have? You got five people to choose from. You're going to pick five, dead or alive, who you eating with? See, that, that's the hard one. That's the one that's going to Yeah, yeah, okay. He, he said this was about to take about 15 This years. was hard last time. <laughs> Bro, because I don't, I don't want to sound, you feel me? Like a like a broken record, but I'm gonna say Jesus Christ for sure. <laughs> and saying, I'm gonna just I'm, I'm gonna beat the gospel to you one way or bro, another. Bro, because way. I was like I you know, I watch people, I look up to people, whatever, that but sucks. it's never gonna you feel me take his place. But um I mean I say him and, and five four more people from the Bible. <laughs> I say Job, I say yeah. uh Paul, okay, uh David, and yeah. uh one more. <laughs> but for real, that's, that's the only way I can go. Um, I say Adam. Adam, first okay. person ever. Okay, okay, I respect that. He said, "Hey, we bring it. We bring it. Everybody. We he learned for about real. the gospel. Hey, you could be. Hey, Christ gonna be at your table. Yeah, for and sure. I, I might have to go here pull up a seat. You feel yeah. me? <laughs> Most definitely. That's what's up, man. I appreciate that. And hey, last but not least, man, my favorite question that i have on quick hits and it's a question that i need you to answer because you're going to be giving gems back to my people i need to know your favorite quote or your favorite saying and then on top of that why is that your favorite quote or your favorite saying talk to me Man. Favorite quote or favorite saying give us some gems you gotta you gotta get us out of here the right way you feel me uh what i'm gonna say uh talk to me I'm gonna say a scripture for sure. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Uh, lean not on to your lean not to your own understanding. I probably messed that up. But, nah, nah, you got it. You got it. But so, everybody know that scripture. Nah, that's facts. That's but facts. I say that because, bro, that's a day to day walk, and like, you feel me? Like literally, like you feel me? When people preach Christ, I know it might come off cliche sometimes, but bro, like that's the realest thing. I be telling my kids, like, bro. God is the realest thing ever, bro. And it's like, if you really, um, like when you really start to build your relationship, bro, you really realize like you really can't do nothing without him. You feel me? And nothing that's going to be worth anything. You feel me? And it's like that's every right. day I try to get up and I try to speak to God first. I try to get to my knees first. You feel me? Because I really... I can't trust him. I don't understand it, bro. I didn't try it so many times. Twenty-seven years of living, it never worked. You feel me? Yeah, hey, I, I definitely feel you on that one, man. And, and that's the thing. Sometimes you got to believe in something else that's higher than you, and yeah. believe in something that is kind of ordained for you not to understand it. Yeah. And sometimes, bro, that's that faith. You know yeah. that you got to have in the Lord, and sometimes you got to have that blind faith too to just go down that path regardless of anything like put your understanding in something that's higher than you because it's yeah. gonna work itself out 
like you said, you you've been doing it. Yeah, you can do it your way for fifty years, twenty seven years. Eventually, you gonna have to do it his way. Yeah, so, but it's gonna it's gonna have to be Jesus Christ though, because any right. other guys, any other, is <laughs> is gonna be the same thing. You might as well just go on Jesus Christ, <laughs> trust in his Christ, his hey. way. Hey, That's hey, it. Hey, talk to him, man. Y'all better put some respect on his name. For real, I'm a, hey. I, hey, hey, I appreciate you, man. So. Without further ado, man, before we get you up out of here, you got any last words for the audience, any last word for my people, man, before you go ahead and get up out of here? Uh, I ain't really got nothing else other than what I just left it off with, man. Okay. Follow hey. Christ. That's hey, it. Follow Christ. Hey, believe in the Lord, and he going to get you to the promised land. You understand? That's me? it. But I but, appreciate you, bro. Hey, no, I appreciate you too, man. And thank you seriously for coming out. Hey, it's been a hell of an episode, man. Hey, you ain't got to go home, but you can't stay here. You understand me? Hey, Marty came on here. He graced us with his presence. Hey, I appreciate you, my God. Thank you. you. Hey, and we're going to definitely have to have you on here again because, hey, I want to hear about sure. these opportunities you got coming up. And oh, we're yeah. going to have to go ahead and get you some more songs on this. Hey, cause, cause I, hey YouTube, don't copyright me, all right, because I'm going to be playing the music <laughs> now. All right, in the future, I'm going to be having this music on here, so don't, don't be playing with me, YouTube. But anyway. I know. I'm going to have you. Hey, I'm going hey, hey, to give you the rights. I appreciate you, man. It's most definitely, man. Without further ado, man, thank you for gracing us with your presence again. And, hey, that's so to you, man. Keep climbing. Keep reaching new heights. And, hey, hey, we appreciate you. And stay appreciate tuned. You. Hey, if you want to watch his whole performance and you want to watch the judges and their reaction, hey, I will be playing it for you now. So, hey, you're welcome. And without further ado, guess what? Deuces, we out. All right. It's a wrap. Appreciate you, my guy.
The first thing I wrote down, because I'm a little nerd and I'm writing notes, was thoughtful presentation, right? Like I felt every piece of intentionality from that. And a lot of times you're right, like the hip hop artist brings the live musician out, and sometimes that live musician can kind of take over. But this was in your voice, that was beautiful. Thank you. It was great. Um, hey man, you are exceptional. Like for real. That that was that was exceptional. That's on my playlist. That is, I, I mean, that should be on the radio. That's going to get a billion streams. That's going places, man. I'm really excited. Amen. He said he has a Jackson also, so that's not the first. He has a Jackson 5 at home. He believed oh, in the Bible, yeah. be truthful and what? Hey, both the fly, amen. Yeah, I it. Um, I liked what you were saying. I liked uh, how some of your rhymes resolved uh, in unexpected places. And I liked how you had a conversation with the tenor. A lot of people bring live instruments in, but don't uh, make space for them or have a conversation. So, yeah, do it. Can y'all give it up for them? Yeah! 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 yeah. And listen, while we talk about musicians, can we give it up for the live band tonight? Yes, sir! I think I see my nephews walking through the door. I see y'all back there. All right, y'all ready for your next performance? Say, yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's up when we roll out, man. It's your boy, Mike Larry. Baby, please don't ever forget the baby. Man. The artist, entrepreneur, the activist, you know. art that matters for people who care. You feel me? I dare to be different. I feel like the only obligation in life is to live in your purpose. Living that door. Living that door. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, you killed that. <laughs> hey, we live now, really. <laughs>